A mother's heart-wrenching pleas that played out here on WUSA 9 last night are increasing the concerns about problems at Maryland's Office of the Chief Medical Examiner. Thanks for joining us. I'm Charlotte McBride. And I'm Lorenzo Hall. Bodies in need of autopsies are backed up for weeks at a time, delaying closure for many grieving families. Our Scott Broom spoke with one lawmaker, and that lawmaker warned the medical examiner could lose national accreditation and criminal cases could be ruined if this problem is not solved soon. Dolores Shannon of Colonial Beach, Virginia, has still not seen the body of her daughter, Angel Brand, who died of a suspected fentanyl overdose in Maryland 13 days ago, but whose body is still waiting for an autopsy from the Maryland Office of the Chief Medical Examiner. It breaks my heart because I just want to put her at rest so I can try to cope with what I'm going through. These are not uh, situations that are that are easy for families. Montgomery County State Delegate Carol Resnick chairs the committee that oversees Maryland's Office of the Chief Medical Examiner, where bodies are now being stored temporarily in refrigerated trucks parked in a Baltimore garage because the office is facing a backlog of at least 200 autopsies, according to the state's health department. For the last five, six years, you know, we've identified there's a problem. There's a staffing issue, there's a morale issue. Resnick says a jump in deaths from overdoses, crime and COVID is part of the equation, but that the office has also been understaffed for years, putting national accreditation at risk. If they lose their accreditation, and that's really what we're talking about here, the judgment of that medical examiner in court then comes into question. Maintaining that accreditation is critical to making sure that, that justice is, is sought. Friday, Maryland's chief medical examiner, Dr. Victor Whedon, abruptly resigned. A new interim chief, Dr. Pamela Southall, took over Monday. How would you characterize the challenge in front of her? I wouldn't want to have her job, to be honest. Um, she has a very daunting challenge in front of her. She has to, first and foremost, figure out how to get this backlog down while also working to try and, and fill these positions and hire the right number of people. I need to see my daughter to have closure. I need to look at her one last time. Resnick is sponsoring legislation that would force the state of Maryland to hire and retain enough medical examiners to ensure national accreditation. Authorities could not tell us when the body of Angel Brand might be sent home to Virginia. Scott Broom, WUSA 9.